Well, this Christmas, the Baltimore Ravens got the best present of all, a win over the Atlanta Falcons. Tyler Jones here with you here on the Ravens Rundown, looking back on Baltimore's 17-9 win over the Atlanta Falcons. No Lamar Jackson, no problem. Tyler Huntley did just enough to help secure the Ravens' win as he went 9-17 of 17 for 115 yards passing and one touchdown. The ground game had a solid day. Near 100 yards for Gus Edwards. Just came up that one yard short. Meanwhile, J.K. Dobbins with 12 carries and 59 yards. J.K. Dobbins has looked like a whole different running back since he returned from injury just a couple of weeks ago. Mark Andrews led the Ravens in receiving with three catches for 45 yards. Meanwhile, on the other side for Atlanta, Desmond Ritter got the start. And Ritter did not have a touchdown or an interception. Just kind of an average day for Desmond Ritter going 22 of 33 through the air for 218 yards passing. The run game, we told you all week that the Ravens had to do whatever they could to slow down the Falcons with one of the best running games in the NFL. Tyler uh, Algeyer had 18 carries for 74 yards. Uh, Algier, that is, uh, for uh, what he finished with. And then, meanwhile, Cordell Patterson, 2.1 yards per carry, held him to 17 yards of the ground off of eight rushes. Had to be pleased with that. Where there was a lapse was defending Drake London in the receiving game as he had seven catches for 96 yards receiving and the Ravens get the job done 17 to 9. Let me know your one word reaction to these Raven, the Ravens performance. Uh, the defense coming through once again, nine points. Look, the defense, I got to tell you, when this defense is on, they're on, folks. I like it. I liked what I saw from the defense today. My one word would be pleased. Wasn't the sexiest win, um, but it was enough. And the defense just held serve. They were steady, steady Eddie today, right? That's how I feel. Uh, give me your one word reaction in the comment section below to the Ravens win. Today's show is brought to you by Fetch. Fetch is a super easy to use app and it's free. It lets you earn rewards points on literally everything you buy. Scan any physical receipt. E-receipt, you'll earn points for your purchases, and the process only takes seconds. You don't have to worry about where your receipt is from or what's on it, so let me show you how simple it is. All you have to do is open up the Fetch app, press the orange camera button, and snap a photo of your receipt, then hit submit, and you'll see the confetti pop showing that you've earned more reward points. It's a simple process. You can also click the e-receipt function to get rewarded for your Amazon purchases or other online shopping by syncing your email account. You can then redeem those points for gift cards at Amazon, Starbucks, or any of hundreds of stores and retailers and restaurants available. Fetch is also on iPhone and Android. Use our link, chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter the promo code chat and sign up for 5,000 points at sign up when you scan your first receipt. That's the equivalent of a free $5 gift card to get started. It's a free app, and the 5,000 points is only for a limited time. So get started now, chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter the promo code chat, and the link is also in the comments and the description of today's video. Let me start with Tyler Huntley here. We told you earlier in the week there was a report from ESPN's Adam Schefter that the Ravens were doing everything that they could to try to get Lamar Jackson ready. And early in the week, according to Shefty, the Ravens were optimistic that Lamar would be able to make his return this week. Obviously, that did not happen. And so as these weeks go by, knowing that Lamar's situation doesn't look like it's season ending. It's kind of just survival mode of sorts, right? Just going week by week, just doing what you can. And Tyler Huntley, 9 of 17, 115 yards and a touchdown. I mean, it wasn't great, but it was good enough. It was good enough to survive and move on. It's almost like that March Madness mentality of some sorts of survive and advance as far as I'm concerned. So Tyler Huntley... I'd give you a game ball just for doing enough, if that makes sense. The ground game in particular, I got to applaud all these guys because you look before the Lamar Jackson injury, and we'd said to ourselves for weeks on end that the Ravens needed another runner to develop beyond Lamar Jackson. Somebody had to pop up. J.K. Dobbins the last two weeks has been fantastic. He had back-to-back 100-yard -back rushing games his first game back. 
And then today it was Gus Edwards' turn. J.K. Dobbins wasn't bad either with over 50 yards on the ground himself. Look, I got to tell you, if everybody could just be healthy at the same time, Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins, Lamar Jackson, everybody, oh, my God, this team could really be something special. So the hope is that J.K. and Gus keep this thing going and stay healthy and you get Lamar Jackson back. Look, we haven't seen all three guys at 100% this year. If all three could be 100% by playoff time, look out. I'm telling you, look out. Who is the MVP for the Ravens today against the Falcons? Give me one name that comes to mind of who the MVP was, whether it was on offense, on defense, maybe it was a special team. Let me know in the comment section. Give me an MVP for the Ravens today. Sub for dubs, the best way to spread victory cheer is for subbing loud for all to hear. Sub for dubs in the comments section. Uh, you like that? A uh, <laughs> little elf for you guys. One of my favorite movies. Watched that the other day, by the way. Uh, subscribe to the channel, Daily News and Rumors. It's Christmas Eve, and we're still hanging out here talking Ravens football. Why? Because we love the Baltimore Ravens. We know you guys love the Baltimore Ravens. Subscribe to the channel now, youtube.com slash Ravens TV for daily Baltimore Ravens news and rumors. Also, the latest post-game recaps, game previews, and more right here on the channel. Talk defense now. Uh, Roquan Smith, another solid day as well. Man, Roquan is something special. I mean, I said when, when they brought him in, and today was another evident of it of sorts, he just looks like a Raven, right? All the great Ravens players that we've seen defensively over the years, Roquan Smith, hopefully they can afford to pay him. Looks like he belongs in that fold all among the best of the best. I liked what I saw from him today. Marlon Humphrey solid. Marlon Humphrey is a pro bowler for a reason. And then also something to keep in mind, too, just on the injury front, things seem to be okay on the injury front. I know Kyle Hamilton did leave the game early in the third quarter, but he did come back in. So that was a positive to see that Kyle Hamilton looks to be okay. 17-9 to is the final. The race in the AFC North continues. The hunt to the playoffs is on. Let's see what the Ravens can do. 17-9 to over the Atlanta Falcons. Have a great rest of your holiday. We'll see you next time here on the Ravens Rundown.